Okay, I've got a really quick one for you. I want to create a button in Unity with rounded corners. Okay, pretty simple. Um, so what do I do? Well, I've got Unity open here and I have a, an empty scene except for the camera and the light. So I right click here on the scene hierarchy, you go down to UI, I create button. Okay, now you can see that I'm in the scene. Oh yeah, sorry, I have to click on it for some reason. It doesn't appear until you, you click here. So uh, I have to, you can see here, it's in front of me. I'm in 2D view mode. If I turned off 2D view mode, you see I get this kind of oblique view of it. Uh, so it's a bit easier just to, to see when you're, when you're messing around if you go into 2D when you're, when you're working with UI elements. Okay, so here is our, our button element and you can see that it has rounded corners, but I want them to be rounded to this point, to start about here go to here, so fully rounded on, on both sides, okay? So how do I do that? Well, the first thing I need to do is I need to go into a graphics editor like Illustrator here. So I'll create um, a new document. I'm going to, the important thing here is it has to be, I want a square aspect ratio and I want the height to be the height that w the button will be, okay? That's not super important, but it will be, I think that when you're bringing in graphics into Unity, it works better if they're not being scaled, okay? So the height being 100, because I'm going to make the button 100. So I create that, and I've got this uh, square artboard. So I, I get my ellipse tool, which is already selected. I go into the center, I hit shift alt to draw out my ellipse, and it snaps to the borders, okay, of the artboard. So you can see there, uh, it's cropping a tiny bit on each edge. So what I need to do is I need to go over to the properties for the ellipse, get to stroke and hit this where the align stroke to inside, okay? So now the entire uh, circle will be inside the, the image that I find the export. So this ellipse has, it's got a white background, an opaque white background, a black stroke, and then it's sitting on a transparent background. So I'm going to export it in the old way, say for web, I'm going to export it as a PNG with transparent background. There's a little preview of it there. And just, this is important. So I'm gonna keep uh, the same width and height, so 100 and 100. So I save that and I'll call it circle. Okay, so that's saved, it's in, um, it's in our file system now. So I go back to Unity and I'm just gonna drag it in. So here it is, I'm just gonna add it to our, our project by dragging it into uh, the assets folder there. So here it is. Um, so what I have to do now is I click on it and I want to change its type, its texture type to Sprite and I can mess around with a few things here just to ensure that it comes in at the highest quality, quality we, we, um, we want. Now, I'm actually developing for iPhone, but if you were developing, say, for PC or Mac or Linux standalone, you'd click here, you'd overwrite, and you'd select RGB 16-bit, okay? Okay, so I've done all that. I hit Apply. And now the next thing is I need to go into this thing called the Sprite Editor, okay? And this is where I define what my borders are. This is kind of, this is called nine, nine slice spacing. So, so the way I do that is I simply, I drag out these and I get this. So that's all I want to do because, because each of these, I want to basically divide it into four different corners and because of the circle, there's just going to be uh, four of them. If my shape was a bit more complicated, if it was elongated or something, I'd probably need nine then. But for me, um, four is fine. And you can see here, uh, it's, it's I've got 50-50, uh, and is that gonna work? I thought you might have to put 50 and 50 there, but we'll see. So I hit apply then, okay, and that applies it. And I'll just get it back to here. So I click on my button, and now you see this image uh, script component that's been added to the button that defines as well as doing other things it defines the background okay so if i click or if i basically at the moment it's using a particular background sprite but if i drag 
my new circle onto it. Okay, there, and you can see it's a bit distorted. Ah, okay, that is because of um, the fact, I'll go back to my sprite editor, and you can see here, if I can actually just edit these directly here, so 50-50, Okay, so that's what I need. That's what I was using with before. Okay, and that gives us the four quadrants. So if we go back then, oh, sorry, I have to hit apply. And you can see there, I get this, but it's been slightly distorted. Why is that? Because the height is a 30. So if I go to a height 100, there, that's what we're looking for. So you can see, I have my nice borders, and I can then just edit the width if I want it. Say I want it through 50. It goes out and it stretches and it doesn't, you know, the, the, the start of the curve isn't there, which is exactly what I'm looking for. If I change the height to something like 30, it will still kind of work, but you can see it doesn't really, it's not as nice, okay? So it's better to have that PNG coming in with the same height as the height of the button that you want to apply it to.